When Allah has characterized Himself with mercy in over 500 verses, when Allah has described Himself in mercy with five different proper nouns, when Allah says He is the Rahman, He is the Rahim, He is the Arhamur Rahimin, the most merciful of all those who have mercy, He is the Khairur Rahimin, the best of all those who have mercy, He is the one who is Dhur Rahma, the one who is always merciful, then how can we ever give up hope of Allah's mercy? How can we possibly give up hope of Allah's mercy? In fact, to give up hope of Allah's mercy is an insult to Allah. To give up hope of Allah's mercy is an insult to Allah of the highest magnitude. And this is not me speaking. This is the hadith. Our Prophet wasallam said, listen to this hadith. Akbarul kabair. The biggest of all kabiras. Sins are kabira and sagira, big and small. You have the big sins, the large sins, the major sins. You have the most major of the major sins, akbarul kabair. What are they? Number one, al ishraq, shirk billah. Number two, al qunutu min rahmatillah. That's the second on the list. To give up hope of Allah's mercy. Why is this insulting? Because when you feel, even in this world, even in this dunya, suppose somebody is very generous and very, very uh, 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 giving and whatnot, and you ask from him a pitiful amount. You come to him, you're in need, and you say, can you give me a quarter? Can you give me a dime? And you assume, oh, he's not going to give me a dime. Isn't it insulting to the generous king? Isn't it insulting to the rich person who's known for his generosity that he's going to refuse you a dime? You shouldn't even think like this. So, وَلِلَّهِ الْمَثَلُ الْأَعْلَى To Allah belongs the perfect example. Any person who assumes that he single-handedly is too sinful for Allah to forgive, Wallahi, what an insult. Who are you? Who are you and what are all of your sins compared to the mercy of Allah? Have you limited the mercy of Allah such that you believe you alone in one lifetime can commit so many sins that Allah cannot forgive you? This is the height of insult. And that is why it is a type of kufr to assume that Allah cannot forgive me. That's why our Prophet ﷺ said, right after shirk number two, to give up hope of Allah's mercy. And the Quran says, وَمَن يَقْنَطُ مِن رَحْمَةِ رَبِّهِ إِلَّا الضَّالُّونَ Who gives up hope of Allah's mercy other than those who are ضَالُّونَ, completely astray? And Allah mentions in the Quran, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِكُمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِن رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا O oh my servants! who have wronged themselves over and over again. You've gone beyond the bounds. Allah is saying directly in the first person, He's speaking to them, لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله Never give up hope of Allah's rahmah. Allah forgives all sins. Brothers and sisters, the Rahman, the Rahim, the Arhamur Rahimin can continue to show rahmah and he can do, have more rahmah than all of the creation combined and it will not diminish his rahmah if he shows his, the, the entire creation it, his eternal rahmah. That rahmah never finishes. So what can I do and what can you do that can extinguish that rahmah of Allah? This is the hope. So let us renew our intention that we will gain Allah's rahmah. Let us have that optimism because that optimism is a part of iman. Let us believe in ar-Rahman and ar-Rahim. Let us believe that the Rahman will show us rahmah. That the Rahim will develop, will envelop us in that rahmah. And inshaAllah ta'ala will continue tomorrow talking about the other names of Allah pertaining to rahmah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.